Hello everyone, I am Ranel and we will feature the round 1 game of Bashir Lagreve vs. Peter Svidler. The game was played at St. Louis at United States of America. Uh, Bashir Lagreve is from France and Peter Svidler is from Russia. So without further ado, let's proceed to the game. So Lagreve played d4. Svidler played knight f6. Also, uh, the last video that I covered uh, was Caruana versus Shanklin. Same here, but uh, the last video was about the London versus Kid. And this game uh, debated from knight f3 and played c4, the normal variation of the of the opening. And Svidler played g6. Uh, he want to choose uh, either King's Indian or Benko or Benoni. But here, uh, Lagreb played some uh, unusual line from White and played h4. The normal move here is Knight f3, Knight c3, and but. But Lagreb choose to deviate the line by playing h4. So Svidler played bishop g7. Lagreb played knight c3 and castling e4, d6, bishop e2, c5. Also, for black, no deviation has been made, unlike the white that has a pawn on h4. I don't think uh, it will be played by a lower rated op a player but it is surprising that the top players played this very unusual opening. And the game went played d5 and Spiedler played d5 trying to complicate the situation. So. According to some grandmasters that I watched earlier, they said that the best move here was e6 because of the theory of the theory of um, when someone attack you on the flank, you should attack it on the center, and I think it's a reasonable principle. So the game went played b5 c takes b5 of course a6 so this is like a king's indian over back variation or to simply say the benoni formation uh, here there are some moves here that white can play he uh, the white can play knight f3 or h5 but still the grave still surprised us and played a4 and a takes b5 bishop takes b5 the position is equal according to the engine and still the benoni system or the benko rather plays bishop a6 so white here is just relax and played bishop d2 Spiedler exchanged the bishop bishop takes b5 captures the bishop and develop the knight to d7 and white played knight f3 exchanged the rook captures the rook and develops the queen to b6 and white played castle to king side so the question here is what is the purpose of this h4 pawn that has been played by lagreb earlier so here uh, black cannot play anything that will destroy or uh, will not fix this pawn structure so he went to play rook b8 
just a developing move or improvement to his position uh, still no plan to improve his position so Lagrev still played queen a6 trading the queen uh, exchanging the queen will cost the game because after queen a6 pawn takes, pawn takes queen and it's already winning for white because of the pass pawn so going back to the game after castling rook b8 queen a6 knight a8 still maneuvering the piece and like i said it's still not improving for black rook a1 king f8 and here the idea of the h4 that was made by Vachier Lagreff on move number 3 here comes the h5 so it's not surprising here because of the idea of destroying the pawn structure of blah blah so black choose to play knight c7 uh, he was intending to to make a choice for white to exchange the queen over the queen so this position this position positions sorry this position is already equal because of the exchange of the rook soon and the king will be safe after he reach this square so rook a8 queen a4 rook a8 queen d1 rook takes a1 queen takes a1 so the target of the block is to exchange the piece or to minimize the pieces activity of white in order to win the game because of the isolated pawn of the b2 um, and the jury of the Benko is always winning on the end game because of the pass pawn of c5 so super grandmasters know this idea but uh, it takes an accuracy before they can play well in this kind of position so like i said the purpose of the block or the idea of the block is to exchange uh, his piece and played knight e5 but here lagrev again uh, make an idea from move number three from h5 and played h6 so it's not surprisingly here because he's just attacking the bishop on the g7 so Spiedler trade the knight on f3 captures again and Spiedler minim minimize the pieces of the block exchange it to c3 captures so the strong threat of the white here is bishop to a5 so black should capture the pawn on b5 and play b4 this is a good move because in case of pawn takes white can capture it by bishop takes b4 and I think it's equal but uh, there's a slight chances always for white to win here because of the uh, h6 pawn that is ready to queen so going back to the game after b4 Spiedler went to play the mistake which is the knight e8 for a human eye or for a low rated player this is not very obvious that this is a mistake but for the strong grandmaster like uh, Lagreb he exploited he exploited this move because of this one pawn takes pawn pawn takes pawn and bishop g7 king g8 black cannot capture this because of like I said earlier because of the queening pawn 
so black went to move king g8 and here again white again played a, a best move for white which is uh, not uh, not very deep uh, but, but very obvious so the obvious move is queen a1 what's the idea of this the idea is obviously the putting the queen on the round f8 so he will try to invade the piece here here and there but Spiedler played c4 so he is very relaxed but definitely the idea of white is still continued here when the 8 queen a4 actually the, the position is already so strong for black because there's no improvement here there's always a bank rank made for black because of this piece this this the king is doomed already so let's continue the game king g2 putting the safety of the king was always the principle of the chess and queen b5 and here this position is technically lost for black but it takes an idea to make a good move I uh, will give you 10 seconds to find what Laguerre played here you can put your answer in the comment or you can pause the video to have more time to analyze okay let's start Okay, so Lagrev played the move bishop to b2 and Svidler already resigned. Why? Why did he resign? The idea of this bishop is white will be able to capture this pawn and make a penetration here and make a bank rank so example of this is if white played here queen takes e7 it's a bad move because of the knight captures the bishop so he choose to play the move bishop d2 what if he played bishop c3 is it a good move? Is it a good move? Or you can put it on the comment below. As you can see that Lagrev played Bishop B2. Which is made in 9 already. What if black played king f8? And that's the idea of the bishop b2 because of the idea of bishop a3. In case that the bishop was played at bishop c3 and the king f8 move, there is no definitely move for bishop b4 intending to meet it on the e7 so after bishop d2 the game was already lost for black because of king f8 and bishop a3 bishop a3 and queen b7 uh, d6 is already lost for, for white i uh, for black sorry captures captures and me okay 
So Lagreb won the game for round 1 and also Carvana won the game for round 1. And that's the end of, of, of our video and we will continue to root the games of 2021 Cinco Field Cup. And for those who have suggestion of what will I feature in the next video, just just post put hashtag suggestion in the comment section below. And for those who haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe for more jazz videos. Thank you.